Level 2. This is The Apprentice. At this level, you start developing as an individual gaining social and professional skills. This level is social dependence based. All motivation at this level are to distinguish yourself from and to impress others. This level is one step forward from the small village, your rural level 1 mentality, to the bigger urban social structure. If in the level 1 the dependence was on the members and leader of that community, in level 2 the dependence is on a wider public opinion and submission to its authority structure and its leaders, the school, the company, the science, the government. Level 2 has its own degrees from advanced craftsmanship to arts, academia, business and politics very much solar plexus and brain dominated level with their high emotional centers and high vision blocked. This is the level of intellectual fear, highly conflicted feelings and emotions which lead to repression and physical illness as a result, autoimmune conditions, high blood pressure, heart problems, diabetes, gout and so on. Social status is the benchmark of self-assessment and of assessing others. In a non-exhaustive list, the characteristics of this level are Level 2 Urban Consciousness from credulity and superstition to learning and inquiry. Development of social awareness, realizing that you are part of a social structure bigger than the family or tribe. Emancipation and independence. Development of intellectual analysis, reading, self-study, self-development. Psychological refinement appreciation of art, music and cultural variety, basic to moderate scientific curiosity, developing a more sophisticated thinking, feeling and behavior, entrepreneurial and hardworking, career and social success driven, the far end of level two, emerging authenticity, compassion and spiritual growth oriented. That was the bright side. The dark side, especially in the first half of the level two spectrum, they go by the goal excuses the means mentality, individualism, competition, narcissism, dishonesty, deception and lack mentality. I must get it before you. From the game theory, the zero-sum game. Like all youth, arrogance and know-it-all attitude, strict rules of engagement, which if breached, lead to severe consequences. Example, if you don't follow the approved professional path, you won't have a respectable career and social position. If you don't follow the approved narrative, you become an outcast or a conspiracy theorist. Fear-based education and work, self-sacrifice to gain social approval, sacrificing one's inner voice, truth and dreams in order to fit in. This is the reason behind mental health and psychosomatic conditions. Separation and isolation caste mentality, intellectual versus uneducated, upper middle class versus working class. Systemic thinking, the unique talents and qualities of the individual a sacrifice for a mediocre collective aim. The tall poppy syndrome is not what you bring to the field, but how well you integrate in the company's culture kind of discourse. Since this level is highly competitive, it only leads to narrow thinking and intellectual bias of those with vested interests at the top of this social pyramid. No need for God in this level. Science is their new God the new religion, the new court, sexual drive and need for a codependent partner, transactional relationships, how much do you earn or what degrees do you have, what family are you coming from, youth and beauty, marrying money and social status and so on, reliance on street smart and intellect, devoid of spiritual values and morals, rigid thinking in line with the approved official narrative to avoid social ostracization, fear of others' opinion and people-pleasing, inauthentic living, impressing the Joneses, again from that competitive discriminatory mentality. In this level, you have to up one your fears to drive your sense of worthiness. Adolescence and middle age identity crisis, crush and burn. It generally takes people at this stage most of their life to move to the far end of the second level when they realize that they are not happy with their achievements that life is more than what they thought or were made to believe. 
existential depression, anxiety, panic attacks, sexual dysfunctions, overactive mind being in the head absent from the body, constant social validation, interaction and distractions even if they are in a relationship, ADHD, chronically stressed and worried about anything. This causes people to look for relief in alcohol, drugs, porn, affairs, promiscuity, gambling, become addicts to diet, exterior looks, plastic surgery, luxury brand's identity, and the rest. They suffer from intense family disputes and breakdowns because of these coping mechanisms. They feel toxic shame and self-blame, often leading to suicidal ideation. End of level to spectrum. The end of level to spectrum are ready to change career, but feeling trapped. Something special inside is asking you to come forth if only you heard the right word, the right signal. If you are here, you are looking to self-improve, change diet, start exercising, undertaking meditation and mindfulness courses, starting to read more about emotional intelligence and touching toes with spirituality. But with the modern, say, kind of spirituality that won't expose you to the ridicule of your peers. Here is where the success and manifesting internet gurus are at. What this end of spectrum level 2 influencers do is indoctrinate you in another cult mentality with its own pyramidal structure. Walkism, war culture and habits replace the old social rules, multitasking, time crunching, even sleep becomes a structured strategy in the service of the goal, money and significance. Promoting easy hooks such as the path of least resistance, desire for fame and notoriety. A lot of beauty talk at this level, saying all the right words but embodying none. High openness to variety and multicultural values but based on bottom line interest. As they will mature and get it out of their system, which could take them many lifetimes because the material pleasures of this dimension are highly addictive, they too will settle down looking for higher meaning. The lessons for this stage. Get out of your head and into your body. Practice self-honesty, active listening and mindful relationships. Get in touch with nature and animals. Ideally, rescue a pet. It will become your new consciousness master. Trust me. Sharpen your skill. Put in the hard work and develop your expertise to the highest standard. This is the secret to self-confidence. Learn to ask for help. We all need it. Embody the true scientist. Keep an open mind and don't take for granted any information, no matter its authority level and scientific accolades. Do your own research in official and controversial versions on your topics of interest. Remove your blinders. Inquire into the fringe science and spiritual philosophical teachings before you form your opinions. Cultivate your spiritual growth mentality and invest in a one-on-one -on -one mentoring program. Alone, you don't know what you don't know, what your blind spots and limiting self-sabotaging beliefs are. Prevention is cheaper than treatment, a lot cheaper than divorce and years of failed relationships. If you are in a problematic relationship or suffer from a mental health or psychosomatic condition, that's your higher consciousness messenger calling you out of the stage you've outgrown. 